Workspace extension recommendations let project maintainers recommend a set of extensions when a user opens their project in VS Code. Here I'm just going to open the VS Code source itself, and when I do this, you'll see that this little pop-up shows up, and it's saying that there are some workspace recommended extensions that are, avail that are available. These might be language-specific extensions or linter extensions. So let's go see what the VS Code workspace is recommending here. And when I click on that button, you can see that in the extensions view, uh, it's just done a search for at recommended, and we can see a list of all the workspace recommendations. So we have ESLint, which I already have installed, Debugger for Chrome, also already installed, and then this editor config plugin as well, uh, which I do not currently have installed. So I'm just going to go install that as well so that when I'm working in this workspace, I'll have my linter, and then I'll also have editor config for formatting and options like that. Um, so I'll just have a more smooth experience, and I hopefully won't have to do as much follow-up work when I submit a PR against the VS Code codebase. Now, where are these extension recommendations actually coming from? Let's go take a look at that. So I'm going to open up the source here, and the in the VS Code source, I want to find the .VS Code folder, and then under that, there's an extensions.json file. And this is where the uh, recommendations are coming from. Now, if you don't have a .VS Code folder in this, dot, um, in this extensions JSON file, you can just create that. But in this, uh, in this extensions JSON file, you can see a list of all the recommendations. These are just extension IDs. Let's go and add a new one here, for example. So I copied down the one for GitLens. If I go and I reload the workspace, now I think I might already have GitLens installed here. But if we go search recommended, you can see that GitLens is now showing up in the recommended list as well. So if you're working on a team or you're a project maintainer and you have a lot of people that you know will be using VS Code, you can use workspace recommended extensions to make sure that those users have a more consistent and smooth user experience.